Hey guys, I'm a criminal defense lawyer at KPA Lawyers in Ontario. Today, we're going to talk about appeals. If you've been found guilty after a trial, you may want to ask an appeal court to review the verdict or sentence. When you appeal, you're asking a higher court to determine whether the trial or sentencing was conducted fairly and if the outcome was an error. Usually the question on appeal is whether the trial judge made a mistake in how they applied the law to the facts of the case. Sometimes, appeals question whether the evidence was properly considered at trial and whether it was enough to support a conviction. There are several things to keep in mind when considering whether to make an appeal. Appeals have strict time limits for filing. A notice of appeal must be filed within 30 days of conviction and or sentence. You might be able to file outside this time limit, but you'll need permission from the court and a good explanation of why you are not able to file within the time limit. You must also consider what you are appealing. You may appeal conviction, sentence, or both. When you are appealing a conviction, the court will usually only consider issues raised on appeal. It is very important that you make sure you clearly lay out the issues that have the most chance of success. Anything you do not raise will be presumed to be accepted. There are many different possible grounds, so an experienced appeal lawyer can be helpful with this. Grounds of appeal are either questions of law or questions of fact. Some examples of questions of law are insufficient reasons provided by judge on conviction or sentence, reasonable apprehension of bias of the judge, misapplication of presumption of innocence, proper procedures, or other fundamental errors of law, an admission of evidence that ought to have been excluded, and improperly instructing the jury. Some examples of questions of facts are clear misapprehensions or unreasonable findings of fact, unreasonable conclusions drawn from evidence, incompetent trial counsel, and inconsistent verdicts. Here are some common questions you may have about appeals. Can I get bail while waiting for an appeal? If you are in custody waiting for an appeal, you can apply for bail, but it's not guaranteed that it will be granted. A lawyer can help you with this application. Can I present new evidence? Appeal courts will be reluctant to consider new issues or evidence for the first time at an appeal. This is especially true if the evidence was available at trial and could have been presented there. Where will my appeal be heard? If your trial was for an indictable offense, your appeal will be at the Court of Appeal. If your trial was for a summary conviction offense, your appeal will be at the Ontario Superior Court of Justice. What will I need to file? There are a lot of documents and materials that need to be filed. The appeal courts have very specific rules about the format and substance of materials to be filed. An appeal lawyer can help you with this. What can the court decide after hearing the appeal? There are various outcomes available on appeal. An appeal court can dismiss the appeal, order a new trial, change the verdict from guilt to acquittal or vice versa, or vary the sentence imposed. The outcome will depend on what you ask the appeal court to consider and what the court decides is appropriate. Appeals can be incredibly complicated in procedure and law, so I hope this video was helpful. But remember, this video is not intended as legal advice. If you need legal advice about appeals, you should certainly contact a criminal defense lawyer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to KPA Lawyers on Facebook and YouTube.